here we see the frightening battling zebras uh, as they watch over my new uh, scourge project for Drop Zone Commander Hawk War Games. Nothing artistic uh, about this army. I'm no artist or <laughs> great modeler or anything like that. But uh, it's just just get an army for playing. Um, so what have we got? We've got the Desolator. So I'm told this isn't the most effective command unit, but I I love the model. I really do love the model. Um, look at that. It's like a tarantula. It's about to leap up and bite my face off. Look at it. So um, I, th I think I think so. Right? I've looked at the stats and it flies. It's got lots of hit points. It's got an area effect weapon and kind of a beam demolisher weapon, I think, as well. So there you go. So apologies. Oh, by the way, I'll make mistakes here. It's a new army. I've not even played it yet. So I'll make mistakes with the names of things and and uh, tactics and stats etc so apologies for that reavers next i'm um, not really you know, playing phr as i do normally not really used to having kind of these small gunships so we've just got one thank you hawk uh for giving us a gunship uh, in the phr but we're not really used to using them yet and these are quite different even to those new phr nords that we have so uh, looking forward to using those It's essentially small uh, fast um Lots of guns on them, so uh, looking forward to using those. Then an air wing. Um, not really, again, being a PHR player, affording and fielding a, uh, an Athena, you've got your, you've got your, um, got your heart in your mouth, really, when you use an Athena. 135 points for two, for two damage points, really. Um, yeah, you've got to have a lot of guts to use them. Uh, I've used them, they're good, but, but, this will make me feel a bit better. They're cheaper. They're, uh, you know, you can lose one uh, and you still have an active unit. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try and fit those into an army list at some point. See how they go. So then we'll go. We'll go to the left again, shall we? Here we are. Right. Good. Oh, there's a spare razor, uh, razor worms over there. Not not got a plan for those yet. So here we have uh, intruder A's, I think they're called. Um, with warriors for them, two stands for each, uh, just for kind of getting forward and snatching objectives from the uh, from the grasp of an enemy before they can get there. Because these, this, this is a thing. Maybe <laughs> for so long as I have, these things are darn far. They're they're speedy. They are speedy little things. Um, uh, essentially, this the, these little models here can get from where I am in in in. Um, in throat sore land to London in two minutes flat. And that's in real life. That's how fast these little models can fly. But on in the game, in the game, they're they're really fast as well. So um these are warriors. I mean they, I could repurpose them and use them as ages ones if I wanted to pay the points for them, make them a bit better in close combat. So then we've got uh, kind of a more standard infantry set of battle groups. Um uh, again warriors or aged ones if I wanted them in their uh, APCs, which are, don't have any guns on them, but again, they're quite fast. I think they've got like a jet powered extra movement thing that they do, and they're kind of standard. But I think they're Marauder drop ships again, very fast. Pretty good gun on them as well, so uh, very close range, but pretty good guns. So, you looking forward to using those also. Then, to come on to the, the main um, kind of armored uh, core of the army, we've got the um, Hunter. Uh, main battle tanks, uh, fast, zippy, quite light armoured, but they've got a skimmer bonus. It's harder to hit them. I mean, there is a lot out there now that can hit them. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't have... Um, does, uh, doesn't modify its its to hit roll. Uh, you know, uh, Ares, uh, tank, uh, walkers for the PHR, ocelots, um, anti-air guns, I guess. I, I'm not sure that they're... Um, affected by skimmer bonuses there is stuff to take these guys out but they're still pretty good they're very fast they've got a big threat range they can move six inches a turn and they, they can deploy really deep into an enemy uh sector in the first turn with the fast drop ship they're on so i i think they're still good oh they're also demolisher just they come with a demolisher gun so hey that's that's not bad at all either um then we've got kind of a heavier armored skimmer i've gone for these rather than walkers because i've not really used a lot of skimmers before so i wanted to i wanted to have a go so i got slayers um it's essentially like these they like the hunters but they've got an extra damage point and they've got two guns so you can't say fair in that oh also they've got this kind of interesting infantry ability they can put razor wires in them 
So each one can deploy a base of razor worms, and they are they're quite nasty razor worms. Um, I don't think they can hold objectives, but they really do munch enemy infantry to bits. So you just that's what you do. I think you just release them towards enemy infantry and and cackle, cackle as uh, you you hear them crunching the bones of the enemies. So looking forward to that also. I'm looking forward to a lot today, aren't I? I think I'm just excited at doing something new. So here we have kind of our anti-air, our anti-air um, uh, contingent, uh, which is six Reaper anti-air tanks. Gotta love those guys. Again, they can skim, so they're harder to hit. But what it really allows the skimming is they can they can get into uh, into position quite well. Again, they've got quite a fast movement. Um, so they can increase their threat range quite well and keep up uh, and redeploy uh, to where you need them quickly. So we'll we'll see if they work. I think they also hit very accurate. I think they hit air targets at a two, but everything else on the ground is a six. So as long as you use them for what they're designed for, I think they'll work just fine. So then we've got the only walkers. Uh, you'll notice everything skims. Have you noticed that? Everything skims or flies so far uh, or goes in a skimmer or a flyer. Because uh, that's what I wanted to do. I've you know, been using walkers for so long uh, with the PHR. I wanted to try something different. But these are the only walkers in my in my uh, army are the prowlers. Lovely, look at the really scary little tarantula things they are. Uh, someone at uh, Element Games in Stockport was telling me that they can be really annoying um, and really force enemies to have to kind of concentrate on them for like eight points each. I think they are. That's that's a steal, isn't it? So you can you can poke them in a hole in your army something your drop zone is you you want to find yourself a couple of points under uh, a cheap unit of these um and you, you've you've plugged a hole and you don't think you're wasting the points on them because they they are quite nasty if they make contact with an enemy i think they are quite good against their heavy armor etc i think they're going to go in close combat it but hey who cares for that many points you've got some intruder uh bees to take them in on so you're going to get them right into the enemy area in the first couple of terms so yeah i'm again really looking forward to the to the use of those and then something i've always got these in after for it's almost an impulse buy isn't that dangerous isn't that dangerous commanders when we impulse buy things when we're wargaming but yes we do i got some of these i think these are called minders i think and they're a kind of auxiliary low point anti-air unit they only get one shot each but those little things on the front are kind of like like these. They're the 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 arc casters. They can attack uh, air units, so that's what they're for. You just string them out in a line, and kind of close off a section of the board, uh, so a section of your city, uh, and attack any aircraft that come across. Or you just go looking for aircraft and start attacking them, which I think is very interesting. And again, a bit of a departure from what I've done before. These aren't probably going to make it to my initial army list. As I say, I just bought them as a kind of an afterthought, but I will try and find a way of using them. And they're quite interesting, quirky little models as well, I think. So, so there we go. So there we go. There's the there's the scourge. Get up onto a chair. Oh, these are old commandery bones of mine. Oh dear. So, yes, there's the scourge. Um, I don't know how many points here? About roughly two thousand, maybe, with some extra tanks. I've got a box somewhere. Um, but I'm, I'm going to run 1500 points of these to start with and then try and make the army bigger from there. There we go. Thank you for looking at my new Scourge army for War Games Drop Zone Commander. Keep dropping and commanding.